A hundred years ago, country A implemented a mandatory pension system. Simply put, each employee was forced to contribute with a percentage of his wage each month and in return was promised a decent pension after retirement. The authorities could have created a fund and invested that money, but decided against it because there was also the risk of losing people's money, which they thought the population wouldn't tolerate. Instead, they limited themselves to creating a system where money from existing workers is used to pay those who are already retired, which may sound like a Ponzi scheme because, well, it kind of is one. But back then, everything went smoothly because, one, the population was booming, with there being more than enough working age people to keep the system running, two, pensioners were happy they got anything at all since previous generations didn't receive pensions, Three, cynically speaking, people just didn't live as long a hundred years ago, so there's also that. Fast forward to the present and... One, folks aren't having as many kids, with the percentage of working age people going down. Two, politicians kept using pensions as a tool to attract voters, promising better and better deals. Three, technology enables people to live quite a bit longer. The result is a so-called unfunded liability problem, or as the name suggests, a financial obligation without money set aside to cover it. What can be done? Well, a lot of things, anything from borrowing money or having the central bank quote-unquote print currency, to hoping productivity will go up or that something else will happen to boost government revenue. However, let's just say many things could go wrong. As such, while not textbook Ponzi schemes, unfunded liabilities can and should be considered an important systemic risk factor.